Ellen Pruden, of course, back with us, yes. Manitoba Canola Growers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, I'm going to let you do, uh, I think, all the talking because I okay. know nothing <laughs> about pastry and that's what we're doing here now. Well, but you love pie, don't you? I love pies. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I love pies. Well, we're going to make a trans fat free pie dough. And so typically you use for pie dough, you have a shortening and shortening has trans fats. Not very good for you. You want to have the least amount of trans fats in your diet. So we've done something unique is that we froze our canola oil. So this is going to mimic a solid fat. So it freezes quite um, solid, but really you want to have two hours in your freezer. So you have to plan ahead if you're going to make pie. Yeah. And See, all, all I've heard so far is, you know, kind of a pie, blah, pie, blah, blah, pie. pie, blah, 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 pie. So we're going to do some almonds, and it gives a nice crunch, texture, and taste. We're going to put it in our Cuisinart here, and then we're going to add in about two cups of flour to start off with. Anywhere it could be two and a half to, um, you know, uh, two and a quarter. So we're going to do that. And then, really, we're just a couple simple ingredients again. We have some salt we're going to put in, and then some uh, baking powder. And then for our liquids, we have vodka. That's another trick. Vodka. So vodka helps to keep your pastry dough light and flaky. So we're not using a shortening. We're using frozen canola oil, right. and then we're using a little bit of vodka. Wow, I've never so a quarter of that. cup. We have our, our egg in there. But then we I've have never our made pastry. cold milk that we have, and a little bit of vinegar. So that mm. goes like that. Okay, so we'll get our lid on. Give that a couple blends. This just to mix on the it all through. As well? It is on Food Manitoba, and of mm -hmm. course at canolarecipes.ca. So here's our frozen oil. See, it's nice and congealy, and just and but it can become rock solid too. And if it is rock solid, then just slice it up like you would do any type of shortening. Oh. So I'm gonna take my lid off. I'm gonna pour this in, and you just want to incorporate it. So with pie dough, you want to work fast. So this is two thirds of a cup of frozen canola oil. So I just want to bring that. Oh, the fun of these machines, eh? There. Help me, Jim. No. <laughs> there. And then we're just going to blend it nicely. And that's it. You don't want to work. That's it? That's it. Oh. And now we're going to add in our wet ingredients. And then give it another blend. Technical. Thank you. And we're just going to bring that together and it's going to start to form a really nice dough and that's it. I'll be darned. So I've, I have some dough that's made that I made up ahead of time and you want to work on a cool like the cool counter it's better than the board here. We're just going to put some down. Now this recipe makes two crusts or um, a, like a double crust or a single crust. So I've made it to be a single crust because we're just going to bake it blind and you just want to work very fast. Feel the dough. So I've left it in the freezer. It's cold. This right, is, it is really yes. good. You want it to be cold and then you're just going to roll it out. And then if it starts to crumble, just kind of patch it back together. That's nice with the almonds in there. Yeah, it gives a nice crunch. And when you bake with canola oil, if you're doing a crust or this pastry, canola oil doesn't brown the same way as a shortening or butter does. So the almonds gives a really nice kind of that brown texture in it. So you have to watch it. You want to heat your oven to 400 degrees, and it's going to cook for 10 minutes if you're just doing it blind. Now, a blind bake is that we're going to add it into here. So I can roll it on. Oh, like this, that's, nice that's the trick. trick. Yes. And then you just roll it out. That's why the, the, this rolling pin works really nicely. And but so here, if there's any place that's a broken place, you just kind of mush it to blend it nicely oh, together. Yeah. Here we can take and that's a little bit it. Of this off. And then put it over there because I didn't roll it out very good. But again, you could you want to prick it with um, forks so the steam can oh, be yes, right, right. so our crust is nice and flat. And then yeah, that's our what? trans fat free canola pie dough. A little bit of trivia. Here's a trivia question. Yes. How many, this is for the folks at okay, home, except you have to answer it. Got it. How many canola growers are there in the province of Manitoba? 9,000. 9,000 in this province alone. And they grow a lot of canola alone. oil. Unbelievable. Great Taste of Manitoba is presented by Manitoba Liquor Marts.
Great Taste is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture Food and Rural Initiatives. Feed your healthy lifestyle with Manitoba foods. Sobeys. For great meal ideas and ingredients, just add Sobeys. Granny's, your local poultry farmers cooperative. Great Taste is produced in cooperation with Manitoba Agriculture Food and Rural Initiatives. Promotional consideration is provided by the Winnipeg Free Press. We're there for you. Great Tastes is produced by Hummer Productions.